Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to sample on machine. The first thing you want to do is select a pad, select an empty pad, and then head into sampling mode. So the first thing you can see is this meter and a couple different parameters that you can change. The first thing is source, and you can choose between external and internal. External is recording anything that you're running into your computer or interface, like a turntable or a guitar or anything like that. Internal is actually resampling machines, so recording patterns or groups or anything like that. To start, I'm just going to choose external, and then head over to the next parameter by hitting the navigation button and the arrow. So here you can choose different inputs, and this will vary between um, whatever you're trying to do, but I'm just going to do a stereo input on channel 1. If you're using an interface or anything, you might want to choose different channels, but for this I'll just be on number 1. After you have that set, you can head over to the next parameter and then see that you can choose between different modes. And I honestly don't know what sync is, probably something with tempo or whatever, but um, I always do detect because that's what works for me. Detect basically starts recording as soon as your audio reaches above a certain threshold. So you can um, just start playing and it automatically starts recording, which is nice. Um, you can head over to the threshold adjustment so you can make sure that audio will start recording at the right time. If it's a really quiet sample, you might have to lower this a little bit, but I usually leave it around 25, minus 25, because it seems to always work pretty well. So you have everything set up and you're ready to start recording whatever you want. For this, I have a sample on my phone, King Crimson. Um, I talk to the wind has a cool flute sample in there, so I'm just going to plug it in and I'm ready to record. So when you're ready, you can hit the start button and then it'll automatically wait for that threshold to be reached. So you can just start playing your sample and it'll automatically start recording. So when you're ready to stop, you can just hit the stop button, and you're all set. If that didn't work out as you want, you can hit the erase button, but I think this worked pretty well, so I'm going to keep it. Alright, so you can hear how it's on that pad, and everything is set to go. Um, once you have sampled it, you can go hit the nav button, and the second pad up here to open up the edit menu, and you can do a whole bunch of different adjustments on here. Um, I'm just not going to go into the complicated stuff, but um, just a quick little word here. I usually go to normalize and then select that, and then basically what that does is just um, increases the gain on the sample without letting it clip, so... It's louder now and easier to hear, easier to make adjustments. Um, you can explore these reverse, fade in, fade out, anything like that. But for this video, those are um, not really needed, so I will cover those at a later time. So that's how you do external sampling. Um, I'm going to show you how to do internal sampling as well, because that's really neat and it comes in handy a lot. So I'm going to choose a new pad over here. Um, let's go back to this first up here, and then back to the first one over here. So you can go to internal, and then there's going to be different options you can change now that you select an internal. So you have your input source, and you can choose um, any group that you want, or their master master group. And I'm going to choose um, my drum group. I have a song already loaded in here with a sample that I was actually using. But um, I'm going to choose the drum group. And basically what this is going to do is let me resample the drums that I already have sequenced. So um, you have that set. You can head over. Same thing with the mode detect and then your threshold. Um, this is pretty loud, so I can raise it up a little bit. And same process applies. You can hit start and start sampling whenever you want. And then to, um, to resample, you can just hit the restart button up here, and that'll play back machine, and it'll record whatever's playing back. So um, everything's set here. I'm going to hit start and then restart. So 
So once you hit stop, you can hear that. Just the drums have been sampled onto this pad, and that's pretty cool. So now you can go back and chop it up or work with it on um, an audio file instead of having it in MIDI, and uh, it's just a good way to, to work with the machine. So I think that's about it. That's the basics of recording samples. In the next video I'll be going into slicing and maybe some more advanced editing because I didn't really cover that at all. So um, stay tuned for that. Let me know if this was helpful. And as always, thank you for watching.